My name is Eileen Bantroff. I'm from the Southeast Michigan area, Midwest United States. Born and raised there, been a Detroiter my whole life. Wayne State University is an integral part of Southeast Michigan, and that's where I was first introduced to HPT. I was actually asked to teach a course in performance technology had to review the literature, had to figure out what the syllabus would look like. But of course, I've been introduced to HPT in the last 20-some conferences that I've attended through ISPI, as well as the ISPI community of practice. Um, HPT is now integral in what I do. I think the content on my business card really, really Cap, uh, captures what it is I do. It says that Eileen is a certified performance technologist and I spell that out because I'm not sure people really know what CPT stands for. And under that, on the front of my business card, it says work, worker, workplace, performance improvement. So that's the first view when I hand a card to a client of what it is I do. This is a little bit more involved, but inside of my card, it says, I analyze, design, and deliver results-based business solutions that help my clients eliminate, again, work, worker, and workplace performance gaps, and that my work is directly linked to strategic business goals. So in, in a lot of words, what it says is, I help you fix what we've identified is broken. Whether we can fix it 100% or 20%, that's the value that I add by bringing HPT to my clients. Information that has helped get me here, um, certainly the research, the whole body, the fundamentals book in uh, HPT that Van Team, Mosley, and Dessinger are now in their third version of the three handbooks, um, especially the, the whole new suite of three textbooks have been very influential. Rossett's work, Gilbert's work, certainly um, Binder's work. It's very difficult to say how you got to where you are at this point in, in my white-haired career, but uh, uh, the research, the literature has always been a strong foundation to complement my PhD in instructional technology. Currently, I had, the okay, I had the luxury of working on the new HPT glossary. So looking at over a thousand terms that we were doing a quality analysis of told me there were a lot of things I really need to bone up on and learn more about. What I'd really like to narrow my focus on is affective training. I've been working with clients and we're, we're very focused on writing performance and learning objectives according to Bloom. But if you might know, Bloom stopped with affective and he really didn't put the levels together. I'd like to learn more about that and actually maybe publish a bit on it. I'd also like to learn more, and I'm working with a client currently, on formal, informal, and non-formal learning. And how we get more non-formal and informal learning into our workplace, and then how we evaluate it. Um, non-formal, easy, kind of, but the, info, the informal learning that happens in 75% of our work life how do we evaluate that? How do we structure that? So much to learn, so much to do, so little time. Between ISPI's conferences, their communities of practice, and their communication, I have a long way to go and strong avenues to find it. Thank you.